Yo, this is your first time here. Welcome, been here before, welcome back. Today, we're gonna to be running through the Razer Sinosa V2. This is a fully programmable, individual key backlit membrane gaming keyboard. And in my opinion, it's the best for your money membrane gaming keyboard that you can get currently for the price. It's only $49.99 currently on Amazon. And to be honest, it's punching way above its weight class for the amount of features that you get for your money. So who's this keyboard for? It's for someone who's looking for a reasonably priced, fully addressable RGB keyboard. Someone who's looking for a a spill resistant, cheaper budget keyboard, maybe for like a moody teen or maybe somebody who's just clumsy like me with massive sausage fingers. Maybe you're just somebody who's addicted to razor gear, a bit like me. For somebody who is used to membrane keyboards or just wants to relive that membrane past, old kind of smooshy keyboard, or for somebody who wants a quieter option with something quite sleek that it can maybe use in an office or for a work setup or something like that, that's just a bit different from the smashy clicky ones that you're kind of used to. This keyboard has tons of positives going for it, which I'll run over through the video as well as some of the stuff that could be a little bit better, but I'll run through the whole thing in quite a lot of detail. So obviously it goes without saying, I'm a tiny wee content creator, so I'm no sponsored by Razer, they didn't send me this, I bought it with my own money, so all the opinions in this and any of the rundown is all just my own feedback on it. Just a little segue as always, still on that road to a thousand subs, by the end of the year. Approaching 900 now, so if you do enjoy my content, please press that sub button. Only 2% of my viewers are actually subscribed, so it takes you two seconds just to click off the video. Click that little sub button, carry on watching the rest of the video. Really appreciate it if you do click that, and thanks for everybody else who's coming back and watching my content if you are already subbed. With all that out of the way, I won't waste any more time. Let's get to it. So what is it? The Razer Sinosa V2 is the big brother of the old Sinosa that Razer have come out with. This is the best kind of membrane keyboard that they've, they've got. This is pure membrane, it's not mecha membrane, so it doesn't have the clicky switches. It's got soft, smooshy, pudding feel type keys that are reminiscent of the old kind of old style keyboards that have that one big membrane across the top. It's extremely budget friendly at 50 quid like I mentioned before. It's got fully custom RGB keys, so every key you can change within the Razer Chroma app. It's also fully programmable, so at this price point, that's mad, so all the keys within the Razer Synapse app, you can change to any type of macro, keystroke, whatever you want, anything like that. You can change it to be whatever you want. It is a full-size 101 key keyboard, so it's a bit bigger than the ones you might be used to, which is good for if it's for a working environment like me. I work a lot with numbers, so having the numpad there is helpful for me. And of course, they claim it's quite good for gaming, which I will go over in a little bit of detail. It is quite good for it just depending on what you're kind of looking for. So a membrane keyboard, which I would assume you would know, is a little bit different from a mechanical keyboard. So in a mechanical keyboard, each switch is its own little entity. So if a switch breaks, then you can swap it out and change it straight away. However, with the membrane keyboards, it's one big long membrane with lots of little contacts on it where the keys sit on top, so it can feel a bit smooshy. It just depends on whether you like that sound. You can also get silent keycaps for mechanical keyboards, but obviously it's quite a lot more expensive if you want to go down that route, especially for something full-sized with RGB like this. This. All in all, this thing's an absolute tank for the price that you're paying for it. So I'm first gonna go through the pros, then I'll go through some of the cons, and then we'll just wrap it all up. So the pros, this thing is slick as you like, it's quite small skin. It's got this kind of aggressive edge on it here, which looks quite nice in general. It doesn't have a braided cable. It's got a kind of plastic wrapped cable with a USB-A type connector. It's quite lower profile than some of them because it doesn't have the big mechanical keys in it. It's just one big long membrane. It can afford to be quite slim. It is made of a kind of stippled plastic, but it's Razor's kind of cheaper end plastic, but it always doesn't look ridiculous. It's not like that horrible stuff that you get on some other ones. And it generally is quite a nice looking keyboard. <coughs> it's got one tiny small Razor logo right here. You can barely see it unless you're kind of squinting or you move it into a certain light, which you might like or may not like if you're a kind of Razer gearhead and you want something with light shining through so you can see the Razer logo, maybe not the one for you, but I kind of like it because it's kind of minimal and it just gives that black look nice and sleek and minimal on the Razer logo side. Next Pro, it has cable management underneath, so you'll see that to the right, left, and the top, you've got this little cable runner, which means that you can run the cable out to either side, depending on where you want to run the cable underneath it, if you want to tidy it away, which is quite a good little thing if you've got, rather than just having it coming straight off. If you need it to go off to the right, rather than doing this, you could run it straight off the side so that it's much easier that way. It is spill resistant. I've watched a couple of videos. I'm not gonna test it because I don't like to burn money. However, I've watched a couple of people in videos literally pouring stuff into it and then you just basically shake it off, the water comes straight away. So if you've got kind of somebody who's a bit clumsy or maybe a younger kid or something along those lines you're wanting to buy something for, this is quite a good choice, especially for the budget because for the price you pay on it, you're not really that angry if it gets wrecked, but also when you have those spills or like you me, you're drinking juice with big massive sausage fingers, you drip it all over the keyboard, it will be totally fine. It is super low profile, like I mentioned before, which is nice. Uh, a wrist rest would maybe go for me, I don't need one because it's quite low. It's got these little stands on the bottom that come out, 
One's a six degree angle, one's a nine degree angle you can have them at. So this one is a six degree and then a nine degree, which is a nice little touch if you want to set it at a different angle on the desk. For membrane lovers, this thing is an absolute beast. If you are just somebody who likes membrane keyboards, it's a very cool keyboard to type on. It's Keystrokes feel great, it feels super smooth, and it's a very comfortable keyboard to type on for long periods of time. It's quiet, now this was one of the biggest selling points for me. My nine to five job requires me to be on meetings, usually Zoom meetings all the time, and rather than jumping on and off a mute when I'm typing, when I'm definitely ignoring people and typing emails and stuff, rather than having the clickety clack of a mechanical keyboard, you've got a very quiet keyboard here. If it is to be taken into a working environment as well, it's nothing too flashy, and it is gonna be quiet, so you will be able to type over the top without annoying people, or in my case, my girlfriend hates the sound of the mechanical keyboard, Board. so it's nice to have something quite quiet that she doesn't moan at me at, especially when I'm going to have probably soon a sleeping child in the back. Rather than having the clickety-clack, I can just have a nice soft membrane keyboard there. It has fully addressable RGB bright colours. For the money here, the RGB is so bright, and obviously it's Razer's normal Chroma RGB stuff, so every one, every one of the keys you can change to a different colour. If you get used to the Razer Chroma app, it's difficult to use it first, but then once you've gotten used to it, you can change it to do whatever the fuck you want, and it is actually class. So you can change it to games. There's actually in the Chroma app, they have it synced up to a ton of games that you can also do Apex Legends, whatever you want, and it'll sync with the games with the different types of colors and stuff, which is amazing. You can turn the lights completely off. It comes with some settings originally, or you can use the app to make it something a bit more suiting to your setting. So you can always make it fit there, which for a keyboard this budget is pretty decent to have in, ah, I would say it's pretty, pretty cool. Another thing it has, I won't go into a huge amount of detail on, but it is fully programmable. So any of the keys on here, you can change to do whatever you want through the Razer Synapse app. So you can make them do things for shortcuts, whether it's in Premiere, whether you're video editing, whether it's for macros and games, you want to do things faster. You can do a combination of keystrokes with one keystroke just by changing it, or you can make any of the buttons do whatever you want, multimedia keys, things for streaming if you're a streamer, any of that type of stuff, you can have one key do multiple things or you can have one key do something else that it isn't normally designed for, which is a very cool addition to this particular keyboard for the price. It has dedicated media controls up here, which is uh, which is quite different. This the, this one's little brother didn't actually have this. So it's a nice little feature. Across the top, you've got your play, pause button, mute, skip track, and volume up and down, which is quite handy if you are someone who listens to quite a lot of media. The mute button I would find pretty useful as well when you can just mute everything on the fly straight for the keyboard. That's a pretty nifty feature to have rather than having to do it in the PC. The most obvious pro for this would be the price. 50 quid for something at this level is insane. And I think that if you maybe have a second setup or you're just basically getting into gaming or you're getting into the world of keyboards, it's a nice thing to pick up. It's got ton of ton of features for the price that you're getting and it's mega worth it in every way I can say that if you're thinking of picking one up, I would definitely, definitely get one. The price is probably the biggest selling point considering the number of features that you get. It also, funnily enough, even for a 50 quid keyboard, comes with a two-year warranty. It's on the box. Madness. So if it does happen to break, which I don't know how it would, sometimes with membrane keyboards, the, some of the keys can sometimes stick and it become expensive to change the whole membrane because you can't just specifically change a key. However, it does come with a two-year warranty. So for 50 quid, getting a two years out of it minimum or maximum even would still be great. Don't know exactly what's included in the warranty, but it says it's got the two-year warranty, which is pretty. So the cons of this, there aren't really many cons. The one con that I do have is the plastic. The plastic isn't it amazing, but then again, what do you expect when you're paying for this? But it would have been nicer for them to maybe put a couple of tiny little metal bits on it maybe, or maybe just something a little bit different, but the keys are pretty nice. But the plastic, I think, could be a tiny touch better, just because it is Razer and they always have top-end gear. The next con isn't really directly related to this, it's more related to the apps that go with it, i.e. Synapse and Chroma. If you're not used to them, they can be difficult to manoeuvre around, but once you get used to them, they're pretty easy. But as a new person coming onto this and downloading the apps, they can be a bit tricky to go through and into detail. If you want me to run through them in any type of videos, there's hundreds of them online, but I'd be happy to do a video on the apps if that would be useful to anybody that's watching. So let me know in the comments if that's what you want. The last con on this is that, yeah, the membrane can go wrong. There was a reason that mechanical keyboards took over and it is because membrane keyboards can go wrong and once something breaks you'd have to replace the whole membrane or replace the whole keyboard and that can sometimes happen. There's a few little things like keys getting sticky over time just because of the number of actuations that you have on them and you can't just replace that straight out so that might be a con for you but I would say just because of the price it shouldn't be something that stops you from getting this. Now the last con is a con that everybody else has that I don't have. Now this is something called rollover where if you press a couple of keys at the same time it doesn't register. I feel like I 
fact, I've done a load of typing tests on this and I gamed with it and I've checked all that out and I've never had any misstrokes, any mistypes, any double keys, anything like that, even when gaming or even when typing. So other people have it as a con, so I feel it would be unfair for me not to mention it, but from my point of view, not an issue at all. I understand why it was an issue on older memory keyboards, but on this particular one, not an issue at all. And I would stand up by that for me, but I will mention it because other people do say that in their videos as well. So overall, that's kind of a rundown of the pros and cons of the Razer Sonosa V2. It's a banging keyboard if you're looking for an entry-level keyboard or if you're looking for a membrane keyboard or something quieter for work that's sleek and will fit in with any setup. Cool little bit of kit, definitely worth the 50 quid that you could pay for it if you want to go out and get one of these. I will put a link to Amazon below if you do want to go and purchase this. If you've got any questions about the keyboard or anything else, please don't hesitate to leave a comment below. But if you're still here, drop a comment below on what kind of keyboard you use, whether you like membrane, don't like membrane, have never used membrane, will never use membrane. My main keyboard is mechanical, but as I say, this one's for a work setup. So that's why I do have this and it kind of ticks all the boxes for me as a budget-friendly membrane keyboard. So if you are still here, thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to click that sub button. If you are still here, click a like, leave a comment, do what you need to do. And thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.